Hey there. In this video, let me show you how to get Visual Studio Debug Mode executables working on computers that do not have Visual Studio. Okay, so has this happened to you before? You compile an executable in Visual Studio as debug mode, and then when you copy that executable to a different computer that does not have Visual Studio, you get this error, and the executable does not run. However, when you compile as release mode and copy the executable to the other machine, the executable does run. So what's going on? Well. As you might have guessed, it's actually the dependencies of the application that is missing on the target computer. Let me show you an example in Visual Studio. This is my sample program in Visual Studio. It's literally just the sample program that you get when you do a file new project. So there's nothing special about my application. Let me view the project settings over here. Within the project settings, we have the Windows SDK version and the platform toolset. This is the settings in Visual Studio that sets the dependencies for my application, which is an MFC application. There are also settings for the CRT and there's also settings for ATL. But I'll skip over that and just show an example of MFC because it's basically just the same problem with different dependencies. Let me build the application as debug and release mode. So I'm just going to press build over here and release mode is building. Uh, I'll do the same thing for debug mode and compare using a tool which can see the dependencies a bit better. Let me compile with debug mode as well. There we are. Oh, it's already built. Okay, so we've built the application. Let me switch to a tool called Depends. So this tool is Depends.exe. It used to be part of Visual Studio. I am not sure why this tool is missing from my Visual Studio installation. Older Visual Studios used to have this tool in the hard disk under the Tools folder. But you can go to a website called dependencywalker.com. I will put a link in the description below to where you can get this tool. But this tool is very handy because it shows the dependencies of any DLL or EXE. What I have on screen is MFC application 1, which is my program. I've opened the debug version of the application. I can see in the left tree over here that this is my application and these are all the dependency DLLs. If I look at the dependency DLLs, I notice something a bit strange about the DLLs. It's a bit hard to spot, but actually what's going on is that the MFC DLL over here has a D at the back. This is actually not the name of the DLL. The DLL actually is just MFC 140U and the D is because it's a debug mode DLL. We can know this because if we compare the debug mode and the release mode, we will see that the dependency chain is slightly different. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me open the release mode and I will fast forward this video to the point where the release mode is open. Okay, I have skipped ahead because depends takes quite a while to load the executable. Now, if I look at the dependency chain over here, I see that my application, MFC application 1.exe, depends on mfc 140u.dll, not 140ud.dll. That's the difference that is causing the computer to reject running the application. So what can we do about it? Well, there is an actual solution. What we can do is we can copy the dependencies over to the target machine. So let me switch to the folders on the hard disk and I'll show you how to get the dependencies from your computer to the target computer. So what you're seeing on screen is my Visual Studio installation. So I'm using the 2022 Community Edition. Um, doesn't really matter what edition you're using, it's all nearly the same. If you go to Visual Studio 2022 Community or whichever version you have and you go to the VC folder over here, you will see a folder called Redist. This is where all the dependencies are stored. So the version of the SDK I'm using is 14.34. You, you might have more SDKs in there. Just choose whichever one is relevant. 
and you can copy the dependencies from within that folder. Now, the way the dependencies are arranged is that there is a folder for each type of dependency. So if I go into the x64, I get all the subfolders over here and I get MFC over here. However, these are the dependencies that already exist. The ones that are missing are actually located here. Debug non-readist. This folder, debug non-readist, contains unique binaries that were used as dependencies by Visual Studio that do not exist on target computers if you do not install Visual Studio. Even Windows Update will not install debug non-readist binaries. So because my application is an MFC application and it is 64-bit, I need to copy these four binaries into the target machine I need to put them in the same folder as my executable in order to run it. When these dependencies are in the same folder, they can be picked up by the executable without installation into C colon slash Windows slash system. Now this is very handy because I can copy as many of these debug non readies as I need and I can make my debug mode application work. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me switch to my remote computer over here in which I have prepared three folders for my application. The debug folder is the debug build from Visual Studio. The debug fixed is the debug build from Visual Studio in which I have copied the DLLs over. And the release is the release build. So let's give each a try and see the outcome. So let's start with the release. If I run the release application, well, it's gonna run. It does nothing, but it's gonna run. So that's pretty much expected. Now let's run the debug version. If I run the debug version, well, it's not gonna run. It's gonna get the code cannot proceed because MFC 140UD is missing. This is expected because the system does not have the proper dependencies to run it. And for the debug fix, what I've done is I've actually copied over the MFC 140D uh, the UD and even the MFC M140D. These are all the dependencies in that folder. Just copy everything. Don't copy one by one binaries, copy the whole thing. Now, if I run my MFC application one over here, well, it's going to run. Even though the dependencies are not installed, it's going to pick it up from the local folder and it's going to run. If I remove these four dependencies over here, the four that I copied like that, and I run the application, well, you're going to get the same error again. MFC 140D is missing. Now, if you're still having problems with dependencies, you can copy depends.exe to the target machine and open up the MFC application in it and you can get a better description of what's missing. I will make a video in the future about depends.exe in order to debug this particular scenario and also also make a video about manifest because that can also stop you from copying binaries from machine to machine. I use this technique really a lot when I was debugging debug mode and release mode applications. Sometimes it is just too hard to debug a release mode application. I need to recompile the executables and put it onto the machine. Having debug mode and having the capability of changing the folder so that debug mode can run is really beneficial because now I can temper and use the compiler settings to make it easier to debug applications. I used to do this all the time. It does not work 100% of the time because debug mode genuinely is different, but give it a go if you have a simple application. There are some complex problems where this technique will never work. I will make a video in the future about using depends.exe in a more advanced way and also how to manipulate manifests in case the binaries do not match up. There is a rare problem where the DLLs have a different hash code and the binaries will not match. Um, I can make a video dedicated just for that because it's pretty complicated how to debug manifests. Anyway. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever used this technique before and let me know if you knew about the debug non-redistributables that Visual Studio has. I know that this causes a lot of headache because a lot of developers do not know that Visual Studio actually uses different dependencies when compiling as debug mode. Gentle reminder to subscribe, give a like and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. As always, it's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I am High Voice, signing out.